Hello there, I'm another Magento dev and in this video we're going to be jumping to the Magento tool checkout or how to get started with the checkout layout and um, we're also going to sort of tidy up some of this um, some of the some of the font sizes and the colours around around the you know what you see on the screen here out of the box Magento 2 the checkout's pretty much distractionless so there's no header in there there's no footer there um, and usually I'm asked to add things like that back in. Designers generally, if they're gonna if they're gonna reskin this page, they'll have something in there. I still don't um, agree with having the full header in there or the full footer because obviously it is meant to be one of them pages where you don't want your customers from a, a merchant's perspective to be to be visiting anywhere else on the site. And I think that's the um, that's sort of the ethos around the way Magento have designed this checkout is that it's pretty distractionless. A really good feature of Magento 2 is, is how good the out of the box mobile two step checkout is. So we're gonna look at editing this, this page and, and, and from my perspective, how I would normally approach it. So how I normally do approach it is my favorite code editor. So to be able to edit this page's structure, so say for example, we wanna bring in, I wanna bring in an aspect of the footer so maybe the base of the footer, because um, I think generally that would have like the payment logos in it. Uh, like I say, I don't need my newsletter sign up on there. Um, if we have a look at the footer for this site, you can see that standard, but I've got this newsletter block built into the footer. Um, I've got a logo, I've got social media, I've got like the links. Um, and then right at the bottom here, I've got, um, you know, payment term, payment details. Um, logos and things which I think could be handy to, to have in the checkout so what I'm going to do purposes of this tutorial is I'm going to include the base footer and I'm going to include just the logo and I'm going to sort of show you how to do that now so so the first thing you want to do is add yourself a new folder and that folder needs to be magento underscore checkout and the reason it needs to be magento checkout if you've been following my tutorials is because uh, you would have found out that you would have probably been able to guess that is that there's a module called module checkout and obviously the namespace just changes to magento checkout for us to be able to extend that to extend the view anyway um, and that is there the layout so the the layout file that i want to be interacting with or, or overriding or extending is the checkout index index we need to grab some information from this one and paste it into our own that's where we always would start so we need it to be layout for uh, we need a layout folder and then in that layout folder we'd have checkout index index xml okay basically any change I'm making here I think it's checkout header wrapper is the sort of header that's within the checkout so you could do this I think yeah so you can do this right if I just want to bring the header into this template as I've done there I don't have to reference the normal site header I can just bring in checkout header wrapper and if that's as far as you're going then that's probably the easiest simplest way to do it however you'd probably want to bring in the footer as well because I move, say footer, I'm just gonna find something here. I know that I've got a extension here for base footer, which is what's bringing in my payment logos that I showed you a second ago. And it's, and it's appending this container into the, into the footer. So in this template, I'd expect to be able to go, um, get the footer base and add it to the destination a container right. you expect this to, to pop in at the bottom here so that's sort of the simplest way editing the layout XML within within the checkout right I'm going to show you another way to, to do this as well and that's the quickest way to get things in and then you'd obviously you can faff around with the CSS and the styling of this page and you can um, you know move things around the template displaying in the in the right way but if you want it to be more consistent with your site this is the key layout handle here where we've got layout of checkout if we change this to one column so this brings everything in you can actually then 
it, it may save you time because you're keeping a certain amount of the structure that basically brings is the quickest way to bring everything back into the page really is just by changing the layout to, to one column and then you could go about sort of removing things if you wanted to so say for example I want to remove the newsletter and the socials block actually call it photo links so this was from another project where I've referenced it wrong so if I just quickly remove that You've almost, you can almost see it's gone back to how I had it except now it's the full width template so rather than it being contained within the template I've just sort of made my life a little bit easier and that it's picking up the, the template um, and then I suppose the only thing left to do on this would be to change some of the CSS so I'm going to do that now so and I'm going to do that because I want to demonstrate something else and that is the CSS for the um, just for the checkout so what I first what I need first is a module just for the checkout so probably look something like that and then I'd attach it to set this going okay we'll watch he's going so now I've got this the key thing if you only want to edit the checkout it's a fairly obvious thing is that you just wrap everything in your SAS file on checkout index index so now if I want logo in the center center there uh, and then let's just quickly I'll make them about 16 pixels just for the purposes of this tutorial and I'll just bring these things back then to we've got a before which is the circle and then an after which is the tick for these little icons that come through and you can see here that I just size now now change the color of these from the standard magenta orange so as I say we've got before and after classes that control the things are dead easy to find look so you can see that you've got a couple of classes that you need to change here which should um, should be simple enough gray to be honest um, change it to a gray oh oh demonstrate it and change the circle as I say it was just on a it's on the before class is the circle and that little inner border as well this one As you can see, you end up with a CSS file that's pretty lean for the checkout. We'll go so brought them things in line. I might make these a little bit smaller. So when you set to one point eight, you could actually, you could even. There we go. A quick recap of that. Then the main thing is obviously you've seen me just just run through the CSS file there just to sort of make make a few edits. As I said, it's. There's very little to the page, but once you've got the um, once you've got your layout set, um, and my default layout normally looks. I normally go for the version where I would reset it to the one column template, and then remove the things I don't need, rather than trying to sort of wrestle with the checkout template, which is this one. 
rather than wrestling with the checkout template, which I'll show you now. So as I say, like it, it's it's let me bring in my um, my footer, but like the head has disappeared, and and it's just a bit more difficult. Um, it's more difficult to work with, I think, the checkout one. So there's no harm in changing that to one column, and then as I say, removing the things you don't need rather than trying to work in the things you do need. But I suppose it just depends on. Um, it depends on your requirements as I say probably if I just take this back a little bit um, this is definitely the simplest way of doing it if you if you don't need a footer um, and all the design dictates is that you, you have a logo you have your site logo then by far the best way is to keep it on the checkout template and just add in the logo using that move command there which is you're not then using your header of the theme the default header of the theme you're using the default checkout header so a very specific thing yeah I hope that's been helpful a bit of a whistle stop tour of, of a checkout but if you're playing your cards right with these Magento sites if you're, if you're building Taluma theme if you're designing Taluma theme you don't want to be sort of reinventing uh, the wheel as always you want to be keeping it as close to Luma as possible Particularly for for the mobile, um, which has all the functionality that that you know comes out of the box. Okay, so um, that's it for today. Cheers.